They chained themselves to the doors of the Jackson County Courthouse in protest of evictions. The group, Casey Tennant, says people should not be put out of their homes during a pandemic. But just how bad is this problem and what can be done about it? IT reporter Jessica McMaster pulled county records to find out. Locks and chains. This video from nearly a week ago shows members of the organization KC Tenants locking themselves to the doors of the Jackson County Courthouse in protest of evictions. It's an act of violence, point blank and period. Ashley Johnson is with KC Tenants. Court records show Johnson's landlord filed an unlawful detainer against her this summer, a measure often used by property owners to evict people for violating a lease or not making their rent payments. But Johnson says her payments were current. Here, what do you mean taking care of me? Video Johnson provided shows her confronting her landlord after she says she came home to locked doors and her belongings on the front lawn. What the hell do you mean I'm not doing anything? What do you mean I'm not doing anything? Do you think I can I can make people give me a home? Do you think I can make a person give me a place when there's a pandemic out here? Records show a judge sided with Johnson. The judge dismissed her landlord's claims. I'm still enraged. <laughs> in light of the pandemic in September, the CDC put an order in place that prevents landlords from evicting tenants until 2021, as long as tenants meet certain criteria. The ACLU filed a federal lawsuit last month against a Jackson County Circuit Judge and the Court Administrator, suggesting they're violating the CDC's order. Judges are allowing this kind of behavior to happen. We reached out to the Jackson County Circuit Court about the lawsuit. A spokesperson says they will not comment on pending litigation. This month, KC tenants sent out a press release saying more than 600 evictions were filed in Jackson County in September. However, records the I-team obtained through a sunshine request show while the court approved 127 evictions in September, only 27 evictions were executed. So the same economy that cost tenants their jobs caused property owners their jobs. President of Casey Regional Housing Alliance Stacy Johnson Cosby says the financial burden from the pandemic shouldn't be placed on property owners and landlords. The government stopped the economy and a lot of people a lot of people lost their jobs because of it. Johnson Cosby says there are rental assistant programs that would keep renters in their homes and stop evictions. So the government broke it. They need to fix it. Instead, the burden is on us to house people that are not our families. We are responsible for not only taking care of our families, but, but to provide shelter for others at our cost. And that's not fair. Johnson since found a new place to stay. It's only temporary. While she says she understands the burden that's being placed on landlords, she wants evictions to end. That second house and that second mortgage you have, that's what you choose to do as a business owner. That's your investment. This person that's living in your house, that's their home. In Kansas City, I'm Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. In the Casey Tenants lawsuit against a Jackson County judge and court administrator, both sides returned to court on Monday.